This session introduces clinical bioinformatics. Why would we want to be interested in clinical bioinformatics? One common reason is that you may have a family member with a genetic disease and want to learn how to navigate resources. Or maybe you're a clinician who is interested in bioinformatics. Or a biologist interested in technology and healthcare. Maybe you're a software engineer seeking meaningful ways to develop new applications. Or maybe you desire to develop foundational skills for further exploration of bioinformatics. Or perhaps just curiosity. This program uses informatics to learn biology and biology to learn informatics. We focus on developing skills to independently use clinical bioinformatics resources as well as developing an informatics-oriented mindset to clinical and biological problem solving. There's a lot happening in bioinformatics right now. Evolutionary biology, full genome analysis for research, functional genomics, population research, and gene discovery are all very active areas. However, our focus in clinical bioinformatics will be focused on topics of clinical significance focusing on human biology or human pathogens. We will focus on accepted versus potential clinical significance. In these videos, we will focus on developing the following skills. We will learn how to understand clinical background of a genetic condition. We will learn how to capture and analyze family history, develop competency navigating the NCBI resources, apply bioinformatics software to DNA and protein sequence analysis, gain understanding of structure function through protein sequence analysis, visualize protein structure in 3D, compare biological sequences, and the basics of pathway analysis. These sessions will not cover some of the following topics. We will not provide the fundamentals of genetics or genomics, although those are covered in the full version of the course that I teach. Nor will we go into the theoretical aspects of bioinformatics algorithms, programming, or large-scale genome analysis. Two important definitions are the difference between phenotype and genotype. A phenotype is an observable characteristic such as blue eyes, developmental delay, or deafness. Genotype are the discrete genetic factors that contribute to a phenotype. Throughout these videos, all of the examples that I will provide will be based on a single genetic disease, cystic fibrosis. The clinical phenotype of cystic fibrosis is abnormal mucus production, severe respiratory complications, GI complications, and poor growth. This disease affects approximately 30,000 people in the United States, primarily children. There are approximately 1,000 new diagnoses of cystic fibrosis each year. Unfortunately, these patients have a short life expectancy, although new treatments have provided an increase in life expectancy, and now more than half of the patients with cystic fibrosis are, live past the age of 18. Cystic fibrosis provides a great example for this coursework because it is well characterized and the variants that are associated with disease are well understood. Cystic fibrosis is part of what is called a Mendelian condition. These are diseases in which variation in a single gene is the primary cause of the pathology. Other examples include Huntington's disease and hemochromatosis. Some conditions have Mendelian patterns of inheritance but can be caused by variation in multiple genes. Non-Mendelian conditions include many high-frequency chronic diseases that have a genetic component but no single gene variation is completely predictable. Well-known examples of non-Mendelian conditions include hypertension, diabetes, risk of stroke, risk of cancer, and Parkinson's disease. Future sessions in the clinical bioinformatics series will provide information sharing how to investigate clinical resources that provide more information about any genetic disease.